This is the concept language notation of proportion. I would have the students find some objects in our environment. For this example, we're going to use some erasers. We have our smiley face erasers and our heart erasers. And I would tell the students I need them to show me the ratio two to one. They can put out two smiley faces to one heart. And then we can write that as a fraction. We have two to one. If I wanted the students to find the next equivalent ratio to two to one, we could lay out four smiley faces and we would need to put two hearts. So our fraction for the ratio is four to two. When we look at these fractions, if we put them next to each other, we know that these fractions are equivalent to one another. They're equal. And I can tell the students that when we have two ratios that are equal, they are said to be in proportion to one another. When something is in proportion to one another, it means that the relationship is the same. If the students want to point out that we multiplied by two for the top number and we multiplied by two for the bottom number, and then they can go ahead and work out other examples. The next example that I would show them, we're going to use the unit bar and we're going to figure out the relationship between the unit bar and the five bar. We can write out our ratio again as a fraction, one to five, And then I can show them the next ratio. If I had five, it would be equivalent to 25. Again, they can put the fractions next to each other. And if they wanted to show me how this fraction was equivalent or in proportion to each other, they could point out that we multiplied the top number by five, and we also increased the bottom number by multiplying it by five. So the relationship is the same.